Swedish. So it's a very ancient fortress and uh, now it is owned by Sweden and they used to fight from this fortress uh, to Norway and Norway and Sweden they were fight, fighting for this fortress and now Sweden owned this fortress. It's very marvelous and awesome place you should really go to this place. And for those of you who are new to my channel, first of all, hit the first of all subscribe to my channel and if you have any question in your mind regarding this place or any new place you want to discover or explore just let me know and drop a comment below and I hope you will like the video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to MJ Discovery I'm gonna bring more and more interesting videos for you stay touch so guys here I am and uh, you can see this this is the whole name of the fortress Sword, an ancient sword. You can see this one. That is a pot. And these two are the big thrones. You can sit here like a box. Anyhow, watch the video, stay with me. I'm gonna go upstairs like that way and watch the video. Stay with me and subscribe to MJ Discovery. So this is a sword. I was telling you about there is small part and these two look like thrones and here we have a big round hole dig or whatever you call it I'm going upstairs now again I just went there and uh, again now this is top of the fortress as you can see almost here you can see everything clear at this point it's wonderful man I love it there as you can see just right there in the middle that one is an island and this was the other side and I told you I will come here as well so I'm gonna go downstairs and let's see what we have here oops ah <sighs> Due to the coronavirus, we recommend a maximum of 10 people in the tower. So, that's a safety precaution. So beautiful, man. I love it. It's an open ground. There is a big rope here and let's see what we have here who's the strongest or perhaps the heaviest let a tug of war decide so it's tug of war game here that's why they have put the rope here and uh, now I have come to the other side of the fortress So 
guys that came from that side and this is the other side of the fortress and I'm gonna go here I came through that way and I'm going here and see what we have This Bohus fastening is a, a very famous fortress in Sweden, especially in Gothenburg city. Never missed a chance to come here. It's a very beautiful fortress. Surrounded by waters all around it. And this track leads to the same place, to the other corner of the same fortress. Uh, I have to go down after this because you have already seen this place in the video. It's here, it's the same place. It's a warning symbol and it says forbidden to climb the walls, keep children under supervision. Now I'm going there. Please leave. Uh, the same message. But I won't go down because I have watched that whole area. And here you can see some ancient tools or guns. It is fire here on this part. Same place. I'm not sure. I'm gonna climb these stairs.
turn back. I'm gonna return back to the same spot from where I just came now. Oh my god, it's a... I wasn't expecting it to be like too big and now I'm tired because I don't know like different corners of the same fortress and this is a perfect spot for a fortress Bohus was built next to the fork in the Yotha river strategic location it was here that the river divided into the North River which flowed west and the other river which continued the southward up to the treaty of Rock Slide. Almost all the ground on the other side of the Yotha River was Swedish. The side below, this side belonged to Norway. So this side belongs to Norway and now Sweden on this side. This was Norway a long time ago. Further north on the Swedish side lay the middle middle Asian town of Badus on the same side. Wedged into Swedish soil was the Norwegian province of Svadalskat. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly because uh, some of the words are Swedish or Norwegian. So sorry for that. And present day Bohus and Sarti, directly south where Gothenburg is today. New Badus was built at the end of the 15th century. I'm gonna skip it in the Middle Ages. The Norwegian city of Kungala lay a short distance west along the North River. Yeah, I'm gonna provide some information in the video description so you can just read it out. But this was uh, this is the best part to see the whole area. And as you can see, this side is closed, so I cannot stay here. So I have to go back. And uh, to go back to the other area, and I'm gonna go around like that. So, as you can see, that side was closed, so I'm gonna go around the other corner of the fortress. It's a beautiful place. This side, long time ago, this place. It belongs to the Norwegian territory. It is Sweden's land. And I will provide the whole description. You can just read it out later.
Let's see what we have here. This is another big round circle. Oh, it's the same place. Aha, uh -huh, it's the same place. I told you I'm not gonna go there, so it's the same place. And it's leading me towards exactly the same spot. guys I'm going back towards the start point from where I have just started my video and I hope you will like this video in this place as well so for those of you who haven't been to this place you should never miss a chance to come here especially people from Sweden from Norway from Denmark it's a famous place down here guys that's it and that was the full video if you like the video please hit the like button i'm gonna show a new and next place to you people in another video bye bye have a nice day